How to remove and replace a kitchen tap. Whether you're removing and replacing a tap or fitting a tap from scratch, it's a simple task. You'll find a full list of tools and materials you'll need at the end of this video. Most kitchen taps are mixer taps, which means the hot and cold water comes in from the bottom and is mixed in the tap so that you can choose the temperature of water you require. The pipes for these generally come up from the same hole in the sink. Some people, though, prefer to have their hot and cold taps separate, so the holes for these can be much further apart. Whatever taps you want, do make sure that they will fit correctly to the sink itself. Under each tap there is a long thread fitting with a nut that will go through your sink. This nut, washer and securing plate will hold the tap from underneath onto the sink. There is also a plastic seal which will create a watertight bond between the sink and the tap. If you are replacing an old tap, you will need to turn off the water supply to your house before removing it. Turn off the water in accordance with your heating system and water supply. Then, run the kitchen tap to drain the water from the pipes. To get easy access to the sink cabinet, it's a good idea to remove the doors. Then, disconnect the hot and cold water supply to the old tap's pipes. Use two adjustable spanners or a grip if access is more difficult. Ideally, have a towel under the sink to catch any drips from tap tails when disconnecting. Once the hot and cold pipes are disconnected, you should undo the nut that holds the tap to the basin. If you have access, it's easiest to use the box spanner. Slot the box spanner over the threaded section onto the tap connector nut. Once the nuts are off, then simply lift the old tap unit out. Be careful, as the tap hole in the sink is very sharp. Place the new tap into the hole or holes, making sure you put the plastic seal between the tap and the sink. Then, screw the tap down to the sink from underneath, remembering to put the washer and securing plate in first, between the nut and the sink. Tighten as much as you can, using the box spanner, and then reconnect the hot and cold pipes. To ensure a really good seal, wrap some PTFE or polytetrafluoroethylene tape around the thread on the pipe before you screw on the nut. This tape repels water and will help create a watertight seal. Be sure to wrap the tape in the opposite direction to the thread on the pipe so it doesn't unravel as you tighten up the nut. Once you have reconnected the tap, turn the water back on at the supply. If water seeps out of the threading on the pipe, then make sure the unit is tightly screwed in, or you might need more PTFE tape. However, the likelihood is it will work perfectly. Now turn on your new tap. It will probably gurgle a bit as you release the air bubbles, but your new tap is now ready to use. Here is a list of the tools you'll need to remove and replace a kitchen tap. And here are the materials you'll need.